Alta Badia is the northeast ski area of the United Celeronda area, the most famous ski circle in the ski world and part of the Dolomiti Superski. It is also part of the Dolomites World Heritage Site. Alta Badia is located in Sud-Tirol, a German-speaking state in Italy. The ski area of Alta Badia is the most suited for beginners in all of the Celeronda area. The majority of the slopes here are blue. Alta Badia is considered by many the best ski resort in Italy. Corvara, the most desirable village here, is the most expensive ski town in Italy. This review will show you the essential things you need to know before heading to Alta Badia. We will share clever tips to help you make better decisions, save time and money, show you the most recommended ski runs in the Alta Badia area, the best Apres ski place in Corvara, and reveal hidden valleys, unique attractions, and new developments in the area. West of Alta Badia is Val Gardena and Gardena Pass. The most western lift on the Alta Badia ski pass is chairlift Val Setas. The most western village in Alta Badia is Col Fosco. It is located on the north side of Sella Ronda Carosella. It is a small village with mostly ski-in, ski-out accommodation, with a cosy beginner's area in the middle of the village. The next village is the most famous in Alta Badia and the best located, Corvara. Corvara sits on the northeast corner of the Celeronda Carousel. If Alta Badia is the cream of Italian ski, Corvara is the cherry. Unlike Colfosco, which is in a shadow all December and January, Corvara is sunny. Three major gondola systems surround Corvara. One. Colalto Gondola, on the east, connects Corvara to Colalto Peak and the heart of Alta Badia, a plateau with many gentle hills and mostly blue runs, beginner's paradise. 2. Bow Gondola, on the west, connects Corvara to Bow Pits and is part of the Sella Ronda Orange Circuit, south to Araba and the Marmolada Glacier at the highest peak in the Dolomites, as well as the World War I circle we will talk about later. 3. Borset Gondola, located next to the Bow Gondola, connects Corvara to Col Fosco. It is the only way to get back from Col Fosco, the only two-way gondola in the Celeronda area and part of the green and orange circuits. Northeast of Corvara is the village of La Villa. Two lifts serve it. Pizla Ila Gondola on the south to Pizla Ila, which is the top of the famous Gran Risa Black FIS World Cup run, and to the heart of the Alta Badia ski area. On the other side of the road, in the middle of the village, stand the Gardenaccia chairlift, which is the way to Badia. Badia is the most northern village in the Dolomiti Superski contiguous area. It is a cheaper option to stay compared to Corvara and is 15 minutes drive from the Hrnplatz ski area, which is included in the Dolomiti Super Ski Pass. San Cassiano is the most eastern village in Alta Badia and the Dolomiti Super Ski contiguous area. San Cassiano's location is also secluded but better than Badia's. The only gondola in the village, Soriga, will take you to, with Run 28, to the best snow park in the Sella Ronda area. Also, the longest runs in Alta Badia are around San Cassiano. If you want to ski in Cortina di Ampezzo, San Cassiano is the place to stay. It is also the closest place to the legendary Hidden Valley we will show you in more detail later. Alta Badia offers 130 kilometers of ski runs, mainly for beginners and intermediates. Six days ski pass in high season cost 343 euros for adult. We recommend that non-beginners add 30 euros and extend the ski pass to the Dolomiti Super Ski Pass with more than 500 kilometers of contiguous runs, 1,220 kilometers of ski slopes and 450 ski lifts. Adults group lessons for all levels cost €240 Euros during the high season for a 16 hours course from Monday to Friday. Here are the most recommended ski runs in the Alta Badia Ski Pass. Forcelesi, nice red with unique views, perfect for carving.
Vallon, one of three black runs in Alta Badia, uncrowded, easy black slope with the best views of Alta Badia. Pralongia to San Cassiano, the longest blue run in Alta Badia. Five kilometers of relaxing cruise. Stop for a break at the magical Malga Sorgues restaurant. After about one minute of skiing after the restaurant, you will see a split to the right to run nine blue towards Amentarola and the Hidden Valley. If you continue with the left side of the fork, the run will take you all the way to San Cassiano. The most famous run here is Gran Risa, around La Villa. This Audi World Cup Tour run is 2.5 kilometers and is recommended for advanced skiers. As mentioned before, we recommend for non-beginners extend their ski pass to the Dolomiti Super Ski Pass and do the green and orange Sella Ronda circles, the most famous ski circles. The runs in the Sella Ronda circuits are short and have many lifts. Still, you can see many different views and, most importantly, explore the other connected ski areas like the Marmolada, Val di Fassa and Val Gardena. You should try the Val Gardena circle. Check out our Val Gardena ski resort review for more info on that. Another recommended tour, if you love history, is the World War I tour. You have a museum in the Marmolada and you will see old bunkers and guns and learn about the battles that took place here at the Italian-Austro-Hungarian front. Take note that you will need to take two different ski buses in one direction or even three in the other. It is around an 80 km circle. Last but not least is our most recommended adventure, the Hidden Valley, aka Lagazoi Tour. The first part of the journey is to take a taxi van from Hotel Armentarola to Fadzarego Pass. The ride costs 7 euros per person and taxis come all the time. The ride takes around 20 minutes. Then you will take the Lagazoi cable car. The waiting time is around half an hour to climb to the peak. The 7.5 km run from the Lagazoi peak at 2,778 meters to the horses takes around 30 minutes. The first part is the hardest. Take a left at the fork. We will talk about the right turn later. The first 5 to 10 minutes are above the tree line. The second part is the best part and one of the most beautiful in the world. The trail curves through beautiful trees, deep within the majestic cliffs around. After the Scotoni restaurant, you will pass very close to white frozen waterfalls. The slope continues down in spectacular views. The last part is 10 minutes of flat run. You can save it and take a taxi for three euros to the Amentarola Hotel and Tea Bar, your lift back to civilization. If you are not tired or you just waxed your skis, you can earn your way to be pulled by horse sleigh together with another 40 people from all over the world. The group horse's toe is a fun and unique experience you will remember for a long time. Take note that you have another five minutes of flat after the horses stop, so take a note here. For snowboarders, we recommend skipping the long flat parts and taking a cab to the Amentarola Hotel and Tea Bar for three euros. The horse's toe costs five euros. Don't worry about the horses. They're a local breed called Norica horses and are built for the job. There is only one good Apres ski bar to party in Corvara, Le Murin. It is located on the right branch of Run 8 Blue towards Colalto Gondola, exactly after the stop sign when entering the village. There are other bars like Elgot, which are more for fine wines and have high quality drinks. Corvara is quite far from major airports and very hard to get to with public transportation. The nearest airport is Bolzano, with a 1 hour and 36 minute long ride. From Innsbruck Airport, it will take you 2 hours and 8 minutes. Treviso Airport is a 2 hour and 44 minute ride. And the closest big airport is Venice Airport. It takes 2 hours and 50 minutes to arrive at Corvara by car. Here are our pros and cons for Alta Badia. Pros. Corvara is in the best location in the whole Sella Ronda area, together with Selfa. Corvara is one of the best ski resorts in Italy. By the way, which is the best Italian ski resort in your opinion? Please tell our community in the comments below. One of the world's best ski resorts for mixed levels groups of beginners and advanced skiers. 
beautiful scenery, best snow park in Salaronda area, huge continuous ski area, and the Lagazoi Ski Tour is one of the best ski adventures for common skiers. Cons. Expensive. No nightlife. Snow reliability is not the best. Not for free riders. Hard to get to with public transportation. And the village of Badia is a bit secluded from the rest of the Sala Ronda. Here are our ratings for Alta Badia based on staying in Corvara with Dolomiti Super Ski Pass, which allows you to ski in more than 500 kilometers of continuous ski runs and 1,220 kilometers of ski runs in total, including Cortina di Ampezzo and Kronplatz, which are close by. So here are Ski Resort's video ratings. Beginners, 9.5. Intermediate, 9.5. Advanced, 9. Snowboarders, 8. Freestylers, 8.5. Free riders, 7. Après ski, 7.5. Nightlife, 6.5. Resort charm, 7.5. And value for money, 7.5. Before the final score for a holiday in Corvara Alta Badia and the brilliant insider tips, if you want to compare Alta Badia to other ski resorts, please visit our website at www.skiresortsvideo.com forward slash comparison, linked in the description. Use our comparison engine for an overview side by side of 15 essential criteria of up to six ski resorts simultaneously and learn more about the best ski resorts. So. The Ski Resorts video total score for Corvara is 8.8. .8. And here are our insider tips for you. 1. At the Lagazoi Tour, take your time on the top and enjoy the amazing views. Begin to ski after everyone leaves, so the slope will be vacant just for you, at least for the first part, which is the hardest. 2. Don't do the Sela Ronda circles on the first two days of your holiday, because on Sundays and Mondays, they are the most packed. Our next tip will be a bit confusing, but worth a lot. Do you remember the first fork in the Hidden Valley, where you need to take the left turn? So, if you take another day the right turn at this fork, you will do the Lagazoi run. Yes, we know it is a bit confusing, but the slope of the Lagazoi tour is actually named Armentarola run. Lagazoi Run is a wonderful 2.4 km red run curving its way to the south side of the Lagazoi mountain. It continues back to the Lagazoi cable car, but a few hundred meters before the bottom station, you will see a split to the left. Take this left and it will lead you to explore the amazing Cinque Torri area of Cortina di Ampezzo. Not only that, you will discover that in 2022 season, the Cinque Torri area was connected to the legendary Tofana area of Cortina by the panoramic state-of-the-art skyline gondola system, so you can actually have a Cortina di Ampezzo tour and even have time for shopping in the pedestrian area of the glamorous Cortina di Ampezzo. If you want to learn more about this option and about Cortina, you must see our review on Cortina di Ampezzo linked in the upper left corner of the screen or check out the Val Gardena thorough review or our best ski resorts in Italy playlist. If you love this review, you would make our day if you give us a like and share it with your ski mates. If you want us to review a ski resort, please ask so in the comments section.